peace be upon you today we are going to have a look at clam tk which is a gui software to get the clam av working for you now what is clam av clam av is a command line utility to scuff and search for anti uh, i mean viruses on the particular file or folder or drive and then quarantine them or delete them so now people like i am not too much comfortable with command line because gui when gui works i use gui when command line works i use the command line so in this case the uh, gui works fine for me so we will use cl clam tk now this is a website of clam tk developer the clam tk virus scanner as i just said it is a gui for the front end for the clam av now you can read more about clam av the command line to uh, like command line stuff from the help dot ubuntu community clam av page and i will put the link to it and it will work fine so how do you get clam tk on ubuntu just simply search for clam and you will get clam tk over here go to more info read about it if you want to read it then install it it's as simple as that now let us launch clam tk okay so here it is now this is an excellent minimal tool works on the tin does what it says so here you have if i want to check my home folder like scan my home folder i can click on home and scan it and there are many options to configure it and uh, uh, that sort of thing but for the first time if you install it it will, be, it will show the gui version as not updated and the antivirus definitions are not updated so for the antivirus definitions go to help and then check for updates and then it will work fine okay similarly you can run the uh, you can rerun the antivirus signature uh, options like update over here in advance then the second option then it will work fine for the gui version what you have to do is go to the clam tk i'll put the links to here this also and go to the debian section and get the latest dev file so when you get the latest dev file just go to the place where you have it downloaded it and then install it through the ubuntu software center or if you are on a distro that is non ubuntu like that is does not have ubuntu software center you would have to download a g a software called gdb package manager from the software center and it will work fine so what happened basically is this is our software that is directed for like preemptive measures if you have to send a particular file folder or document to someone you have to guarantee that it is virus free you can check that from here and then send it also if you have any interactions with that other os microsoft whichever version you may fancy and then you get a virus from that you can cure that from here so just a like a quick example now See, I had a incident lately. Now I'm using Clam TK from quite a bit of time because I find it really useful, and I do have to have uh, interactions with. I don't read uh, Microsoft things on my home on the systems that I use, but on my in my institute I do have to have an interaction with it. So I'll post this uh, post uh, link uh, in the description below, and you can read it. And uh, so the in the institute system had a virus and i had to give some thing data for my pen drive and as soon as my i plugged in my pen drive that virus came onto my system, my pen drive also so let me show you the history of it okay so here i had done a this is that i've done yesterday i have scanned my whole home folder and then okay this is it you can see this is the media volume copy so to scan up and drive i scanned it it worked on the tin really nicely uh, let me show you the image also of it okay, here you can see it so it's showing the gui version unupdated because a new version had been released and that's why you have to download it from the clam tk source forge not net and it will work fine no problem with that you can see i removed it now how do we get this thing working so you go to scan and then you either if you want to scan a file you can do that or a directory let me show it to you let me scan a directory and show it to you okay let's 
scan the Ubuntu one directly for it. Okay. And now it will scan it. And it works really fast. Similarly, if you want to scan a, uh, like a, a pen drive or external drive, all you have to do is first plug in the device. Like I have plugged in my pen drive right now. And it is showing me here. Now this pen drive does not have any wire. Any virus on it, but just for the just for showing you all, you just scan a device and then it will scan it. Done. As simple as that. There also you can add a schedule over here to check it on a daily basis or on a regular basis. The good thing is by default it is not set like most of the antivirus stuff on Microsoft. Now there is something that I, I don't like antivirus software really like I hate them I loathe them because they are I find them idiotic to be honest. On the institute system there was a, a vast antivirus there now I don't want to get into which antivirus is better but a vast was there and it was not able to do anything not able and it showed three hours it will take four two hours it will take like stupid stuff so enough of that but then here you can go to preferences and then check everything over here whatever you want start up proxy all that fun stuff also the developer has done a good thing so on the clam tk like the website you will find much of the information that you will need and it is a simple software not a big deal so that's it clam tk i recommend people who have interactions with that other os to use it or in general use it just because you want to say that a particular file or particular folder does not have any virus to check it so thanks for watching i hope this helps you all